problems for some of us. You may have had to scrape the ice off the car windscreen again this morning. And it's also causing problems for some sporting events. This is how it was looking at Ascot Racecourse earlier on today. And it has been called off the racing tomorrow because of a frozen track. And it's a similar story at Warwick Races too. But things are set to change. We're going to see milder weather, weather moving in, not just across the United Kingdom, but across the whole of Northern Europe, pushing that colder weather further south as we head through next week. And a big change in the weather this weekend. High pressure is with us tomorrow. Weather fronts come down from the north on Sunday. So we will have a lot of sunshine for tomorrow, but it'll still be cold. However, on Sunday, cloud and rain will move down from the north, but it's going to turn milder. Just take Belfast, for example, four degrees on Saturday, but up as high as nine by Sunday. Now, it's all because of the wind direction. We lose the cold east or northeasterly wind. A much milder westerly wind is going to set in later on in the weekend and next week. And then just look how these arrows get larger in the middle of next week. It looks like we could have a very windy spell of weather. But for the time being, well, we have got some showers. We've had a line of showers moving in off the North Sea. As they've been moving inland, though, they've been coming lighter and fewer and further between. But we will still have a few wintry showers across eastern parts of England, mainly of rain, but some sleet and snow over high ground. A few showers, too, for parts of East Anglia, South East England, the Midlands, one or two for northern and eastern Scotland, but many places will stay dry throughout the afternoon. And it's not as cold as yesterday. Lighter winds and a top temperature of around 4 to 7 degrees. Now tonight, wintry showers will continue to move southwestwards across parts of Wales and southwest England. Those will clear away, the skies will clear, a little bit of patchy fog will form and it'll be freezing in places because it is going to be another cold night. Ice will form on untreated surfaces. In fact, it's going to be a colder night than last night across parts of the southeast. Then tomorrow, well, any freezing fog that forms will be very slow to clear, but for most of us, it's going to be a dry day. There'll be a good deal of sunshine, but towards the north and northwest of Scotland, it'll be cloudier with a little bit of rain. Then tomorrow night, well, again, it's going to be cold and frosty, some ice across more southern parts of the UK, but not quite so cold further north as the cloud increases ahead of our band of cloud and rain, which is going to slip southwards during the day on Sunday, introducing that milder weather, but it will be quite a slow process down towards the southeast. Then as we head into the beginning of next week, well, just take a look at this. It is going to be much milder. Temperatures, in fact, will get into double figures, 9 or 10 degrees Celsius. Some brightness for eastern areas, but quite cloudy and damp towards the west. That's how things are looking. Darren, back.